Every year, when we can afford it, Connie and I like to treat ourselves to a package from American Girl. And this year, we were really lucky to catch an early sale. And I unexpectedly also had $20 in rewards points, which was strange because I haven't bought anything from American Girl since June. And it said that I still needed like two points, I think, to get yeah. a reward, even though it didn't make sense. I should have gotten a certificate. So somehow we now have $20. So we saved a total of $60 on this package between my rewards points and the 20% off sale. And we also got free shipping. We knew we were going to order quite a bit because there were a few like time sensitive items that we didn't want to wait too long for because if you know anything about American Girl these days, they retire outfits really quickly within a year or two. So if we had like the funds to buy those outfits now, we didn't want to wait. But we don't just have this. We also have some stuff Colleen was given by a friend. And I think Shelly might be more excited about one of the things in that I way. I am really excited. There was a hint in the title of this video. We usually wait till Black Friday slash Cyber Monday. The week of Thanksgiving and right after is usually when they run the best sales, but this year they were pushing the stuff out. And generally speaking, they don't run anything better than 20% off site-wide. That's why we decided to jump on this early sale. Dun -dun -dun! Oh, and most of this stuff is for my dolls because uh, last year everything we got for Christmas was actually for Courtney. Right. Except one outfit for Julie that we got just to qualify for free shipping. Yeah, so this year I said I wanted to prioritize the stuff they had out for some of Shelly's characters. Yeah, because... Um, and because my birthday is right around the corner and we'll probably be placing another order fairly soon. Um, yeah, because we'll, we definitely will have another certificate coming. Yeah, and they'll bought some probably money. keep running the sales through Christmas. So um, definitely by February, I'm hoping to buy like make another order of just more stuff for Molly. But the reason I brought Molly out is because this is the first time I've gotten anything for Molly brand new from the catalog since 2005. So this is huge. Now I told you, Andy, stop it. I told you when she was going to retire in 2013, I had the website open. I said, Colleen, do you want anything for Molly? You can make a whole order of just Molly stuff. And, and I was like, like, no, I'm too good for the new Molly stuff because my Molly stuff is from 2005 and earlier and I'm like too good. The first outfit is Melody's pajama set. I love Melody. One of my favorites and most of my characters that I really love like Addie and Josefina, they're all flagship. So it's exciting that they're finally making stuff for Melody. Ooh, these look really nice. I thought they would be. So there is this little flannel shirt with buttons. These are real buttons too. And then the matching pantalones. And Ooh. then she's got these really adorable slippers that have like a soft lining. Ribbons. And they're putting little booklets in dolls now, I noticed. I will say her school outfit is a tough act to follow. So this is Melody in her new pajama set. It's so cute. And what I like about this is it's long sleeve, not short sleeve like her other pajama set, which means it's great for a different time of the year. Um, and I like how the buttons are real. And I think that these pastel colors look great with her dark skin and her... I always love her hair and ponytails and I like that they gave actual ribbons because sometimes the ones that come on the um, elastics are actually harder to use. Oh, I already had like all Molly's original clothes, but I do want to buy even the ones that I had that were like I didn't technically need. I do want to eventually like, get more of them just because I have five mollies and You're my stuff is all really old. 20 years old. But the reason I bought the one I did is actually for Emily because, you know, I wanted Emily to have the matching party pinafore. And I've actually priced them out on eBay, but I have to put Molly down for this. Andy! But, I'm sorry, he's over there doing opera. Andy! <laughs> but, um, wow, it's really pretty. But I wanted Emily to have a birthday dress. We'll show you a comparison too of like this. Ooh, this yeah. Is, you know what? This is like, like the, the only real I difference I'm noticing is see how it has the American Girl like button sewn on to it. Because I remember when Colleen got this um, back in the early 2000s. I remember thinking it wasn't as like impressive as I was expecting it to be because it was like kind of a thin, stiff material. Um, I got the socks and the shoes. Which were not in the original set. 
No, they did not include the shoes in the original set. And I priced out buying Emily a used one on eBay, but what, like because of what people want for that one, it's such a common outfit. I'm like, I could find one at the flea market, and that had been kind of my plan. But then when they re-released them, I'm like, well, I'll prioritize that over her other clothes. I will never understand why people pay so much for the original six American Girl clothes and dolls because they are so common. They I know. are so common. There is no need to pay a hundred dollars or fifty dollars for any of that stuff. Right, because it was so mass produced. They released it for years. Like the stuff that's come out in the past ten years is actually like <laughs> more rare in terms of quantities. This is Molly, Collings 2004 Molly, in the new birthday outfit. And uh, she looks cute. I mean, I don't really see, like, it looks the same essentially as the Okay, new one. so my, my take on it is that it's making my old one look so shabby and sad. I will show you a comparison momentarily. Okay, so I have Molly and Emily in the old birthday dress and the new birthday dress for comparison. So Emily's wearing the new one if you're wondering. They changed, they swapped for a picture Colleen took. So this is the dress Colleen got in 2001. So it's 21 years older than this dress from 2022. I did wash this because it looked kind of dingy. So I just washed this with a little oxy clean and warm water and same with the socks. But you can see that like some of the differences here, like the fact that these socks are really tight and form fitting, that's just because they haven't been played with. Whereas these are 20 years old, so they're not gonna sit as nicely. They're gonna be more stretched out. And this outfit obviously didn't originally come with shoes. These are Molly's original meat shoes. Whereas this outfit does come with shoes. I think that that's a great addition because when we were kids, it could be really annoying. You'd have all of these American Girl outfits, but only a couple pairs of shoes. And now for characters that are like, have been retired for a long time, like Kirsten, for instance, or Felicity, where they didn't make a lot of outfits for them, you know, in the 2000s, they don't have shoes. So now the shoes on eBay are really expensive and that's very frustrating. And the more you use shoes, the more wear they get. So even though these aren't like fabulous quality, they're just pretty run of the mill. It's better that they have shoes and I feel like you're getting more bang for your buck. But other than that, the only um, major difference here is this still looks a little bit dingy and a little bit more faded, but the Rick Rack is the same. It's just 20 years difference. There's this little American Girl tag here on the waistband that was not on the original. And then you can see here that the birthday crowns are different. This has a much more yellow gold um, font and gold band. This is more of like a classic gold. This has actual cutouts on the, like, the gemstones, whereas this one has um, just gemstones drawn in and the font on the old crown is a little bit bigger and on the new crown it's a little bit smaller but it's honestly like so similar that you it's it's negligible I also want to say for reference you can see this is a pleasant company tag um, they were using tags for Pleasant Company and like neck stamps and stuff uh, until they ran out of the tags. So you can find things from like 2001 that were not made by Pleasant Company that have a Pleasant Company tag. So that's why it's always silly to like overpay for something that just because it's tagged Pleasant Company or the dollar stamp Pleasant Company because Pleasant Company was bought out in 1998 by Mattel. This isn't a Pleasant Company dress. This was, you know, they didn't, there was no way they had leftovers of this popular outfit that many years later. It's just the tag. They had extras of it. They probably sewed in and it's very similar to this one. And I think it's super cool that they're 20 years apart and they pretty much nailed it. Which is why Nenea is one of the dolls that's really difficult to get stuff for on eBay. I got Nenea last year and I, I did manage to get her retired stuff except her Palaka outfit, which people pay $250 for. And um, no thank you, I, I will pass on that. <laughs> But I got her a two-piece swimsuit. I have her old swimsuit, which I got for like $12 on eBay by itself. This one I think looks even more like from the 40s. It's just got this really cute styling. It's got this little tie top with Velcro. And the best part are these high-waisted swim shorts with the buttons. My favorite like outfit of Nenea's is probably actually her meat outfit. And I love her little like nautical pants. And she has her towel, which I don't have her old towel because, like I said, I got a really cheap one on eBay because I didn't care about the accessories. 
And these shoes, ooh, these are like Molly's. Um, they have like the woven. Ooh, yeah, these look exactly like Molly's, just a different color on top. And they do have a separate accessory set that has like an overshirt. I love this. This is so it's cute. It's like kind of thin, but you expect that from a bathing suit. And this is Inet in her beautiful swimsuit that I love so much. Usually American Girl swimsuits are kind of awkward, but not this. It's really nice quality. It is a thin material, but it's well made. These sandals are amazing. And I even made a little peach hair clip out of polymer clay from a mold I had. I made the leaves myself because the mold ones weren't working and I UV resin them to the clip. So cute, definitely I think even more flattering than her first swimsuit. I also got Nanea's pajamas. Nanea's stuff was really important for me to grab because like I said, I did not feel like having to chase this down on eBay later if it sold out, which I think it'll be around for, these things will be around for a couple years, but we had the money now. And Anna is beautiful. So these are her new pajamas. Her ooh, ooh, these are so <gasps> soft. I love these. Okay, these are way cooler than the old ones, which I really like the old ones. This material is so soft and it's got bows on it. Oh, oh wow, these are way cooler than the old ones. These little cute jammies. Oh, I like these. And ooh. then there's, of course. These are actually really well made. These the are beautiful. That goes with it in the little booklet. So far, I'm actually most impressed by that. Yes. And this is Nanea in her pajamas. I absolutely love these pajamas. They are so soft. They feel like something you would really wear. They have these adorable buttons and bows. And I like that they have fully long pants because it makes them a little bit different than her original pajamas. And it comes with this cute satin bow that has a little hair elastic that it pulls from her face. This blue does wonders for her. I absolutely love this. This is one of her best outfits. I missed out on Molly's original capture flag here when I was uh, growing up. It was like one of the few accessory sets from a certain time period that I didn't get. Yeah, retired. And you know, now Shelly and I are more focused on like the clothes unless it's like a really cool accessory, like, you know, a pet or one of their dolls, but because this is like something I wanted as a kid, this was important to me, so I prioritized it. You did see part of this at the flea market. I did. Um, when we got um, Shelly's Bitty Baby named Jelly, we saw um, a partial set of these and it was like 15 bucks. And I, I regretted for a really long time not buying it, but now I'm like really excited. Ooh, so that's the flag. It's like... Or paddle? Why well, I call it flag? The no, paddle. You the paddle, right? The no, I do not. Oh, okay. I did not. That was from the. Um, then there's uh, two types of bug. So this is the piece that I I have one like. You have to assemble the sit upon uh, because mine came with my mess kit, not the, uh, the capture the flag set. So that's a difference. Here's the flag, which is like really cool. This is her capture the flag armband, which I'm really excited about. The worms. Oh, I like these. They're not squishy. Oh yeah, they're squishy. I was gonna say. And then um, the can, the bean can that the bugs go in. I really like looking at the pictures of this in the old catalog. I know. And uh, more bugs. These are really tiny, creepy crawlers. And then this, I don't think this letter was original to the old set, but I can't remember. No, there is. I looked it up. Oh, okay. It, you know, it's her new meat accessories. They yes. added a letter to. I knew there was a set. They they added um, stuff to. And this is Molly's Camp Go On Again accessory set. Now, we don't have the original to compare these items to in person, so I apologize for that, but obviously that's why Colleen bought this. She does have the sit-upon that was originally sold with a um, different set with the mess kit. Now, it comes unassembled, so you have to like tie it together. You're supposed to do like stitches on the outside and I tried to do that but it kept like puckering the fabric so I looked at how Colleen's old one was done and I guess my parents when they put it together had just stitched it like this so um it's not accurate but it works better this paddle is really nice because it's real wood but you can see it has a date here so probably that way you'll be able to tell it apart from an original. And I'm guessing, without double checking, but I don't think that the original, I know the original wouldn't have had this American Girl logo because Pleasant Company used to label all their stuff Pleasant Company. So that was probably something they added so you could tell that apart from the original. Um, and it has the little can of beans, which is real metal, which is neat. 
the paper accessories, the little capture the flag armband, and then these bugs which are quite rubbery. I really enjoyed the bugs in the catalog when I was a kid. Um, these were things that we were definitely going to buy, but because we had to spend a certain amount to get the 20% off, because that was the sale we happened to catch, once we put our rewards points in, that basically allotted me to get two other outfits. Now, I offered to Colleen if she wanted to get her Molly stuff before her birthday, and then get other stuff like Courtney's Halloween costume for her birthday instead. But I figured that since Courtney's costume just just came out, and Molly's, and it's a Halloween costume, which is not like a, an outfit outfit, and then Molly's stuff is stuff I already technically have, it's just like a new release of it. I figured since Julie's stuff has been out a while, and I didn't want Shelly to miss out, I said no, prioritize Julie's stuff. So yes, Julie's one of my favorites. In terms of collection, Julie has one of my favorite collections, and she's one of the ones that they make clothes for the used to before Courtney came out pretty regularly. And I actually had to get a lot of her beef rubber stuff later on on eBay because she has so many clothes. Like I have every outfit they've made for Julie now, except the basketball outfit that's the new version. And then her original um, jumpsuit that came out when she did, I have browsed for that, but it's always more than I want to pay. And then there's her peasant top outfit, which they only had out for like a year or two, and I didn't have the money to buy it, which that's one of my favorites, and I'm very sad. I was missing three of her outfits, and I decided to pick the non-basketball uniform ones because I have both other versions of the basketball. I got her Christmas outfit, which I really don't like the way they style her hair in this photo. They put it in a bun, and I just I really don't think that bun does anything for Julie. But I've had her Christmas dress, her original one, for so long, and Ivy's, so now I can use my Be Forever one I got two years ago, and this one. Oh, this is so soft. And you know what? The color in person is more of like a, um, a pink. I like it. And a red. It's really soft. It reminds me of the kind of things mom would have put us in when we were kids. Oh my god, it's beautiful. And then there's the tights, which Ooh. are pretty simple. The hairball. And these really cute black shoes. I think that this and the Nea's pajamas are the best quality. Thing. Yeah, I really like the Nea's pajamas. This is Julie in her... Christmas outfit. I have all three of her Christmas outfits now. This one is so soft. This material is insanely like smooth and plush feeling. And uh, this little bow. I just did her hair half up, half down because I don't like how it looks in a single bun. And um, her hair is so straight, I just don't see how it would stay nicely in a bun. It'd be all pokey. These are the earrings I made. They're supposed to be really kitschy. That's why I went with these big like reindeer charms. But these pinkish red ones are the exact color of the dress. I was so surprised I had something in this exact color because it's really unique. And these really versatile shoes. This is a look, I love it. This outfit, her pajamas and robe, I didn't really care for when it came out. I thought it kind of looked weird, but then I thought of earrings I could make for this. And after that, <laughs> just like I need So this. I put this in the cart first. And uh, then when we still needed to add one more thing, I grabbed the cookie stuff after. There's this really groovy, tacky bathrobe. This is awesome. I feel like mom had something like this on her closet. Yeah, she did. It was really frumpy. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, this, this is, is really, really well made. Nice. <gasps> This is so soft. It looked cheap in the pictures, but it's this is a beautiful set. Panties? This might be my favorite thing we got. Panties. I'm gonna make mm. the world's most gaudy earrings and then slippers. You know, I have to tell you, this might be my favorite thing we got. This is really nice. Yes. And it's like really surprising because it looked cheaper in the pictures. I and this is Julie's nightgown and robe. I adore this on her. It's such beautiful quality. The yellow looks amazing with her blonde hair and brown eyes. And it's just so cheerful and groovy. And you can see I made these really tacky resin earrings with little groovy looking flower sequins in there that complement the colors of this robe. This is one of my favorite outfits I own for her, for sure. This is the other thing that was priority. This was Corinne's camping outfit. So I've gotten all of her other 
outfits either like on sales or when we had like a gift card so this was the last thing i needed it's her camping outfit and it came out in the spring I'm not sure if they're keeping Corinne around for another year or not. They've done that since 2017, but I didn't want to take a chance. Because this is her only like non-snow outfit. <gasps> oh, this I changed my best. mind about what my favorite thing is. <laughs> oh, it's so, you would wear this. Oh, yes, like I that would. Yucky material. Yeah, I love like, it. Makes me sweat. It's fleece, I love this it. This shirt is so nice. Mm. This shirt is so nice. Ooh, this is my favorite. And this would look good on Kira, speaking little of Kira, because of her green eyes. Pants. I know. Ooh. And then she's got these really cool strappy shoes. Ooh. This is awesome. I don't know what my favorite oh, these are really is nice. anymore. Right now it's this. So this is Corinne and her really adorable and super well-made camping outfit, which I love so much. This shirt on its own is super sweet, but the vest just makes it look that much cooler. And these stretchy like yoga pants are also amazing. I love the ombre. And I did make some earrings to go with them. These little owls um, reminded me of Camping Adventures Kellen, the Moxie Girls doll. And I thought they fit the camping vibe. And I put her hair in these little twisty knots. I think she looks adorable. Do you like to tell the story? Yeah, so yesterday, right when I came to work, my friend Courtney told me, oh, I have something for you, but it's not from me, it's from Julie, who's a, a friend of mine. Um, and she said, so don't don't hug me, because I tend to tackle people in hugs. And um, I glanced in the bag, and I saw this doll, and at first I thought it was Claire, like a doll like Claire, um, but then I realized who it actually was, and um, I was like, I said, Courtney, Shelly's in a poop of pants. It's a little morbid, but there's an arm. Uh, which goes to a Julie doll that is disembodied. Um, and there's pieces of Julie's outfit in here. Now, what happened is my friend Julie thought the doll Julie was in the bag, but I guess her niece may have taken the Julie doll out before my, Courtney, my friend Courtney got the, the dolls to work. So, Julie is hoping to find Julie. There is a search party. And to send her along. There is a search party, yeah, a rescue mission. So, hopefully, she she will hopefully turn up. I have tons of Julie clothes, so even though I don't really need another Julie doll, I'd be more than happy to fix this poor armless Julie. Poor armless Her hands creature. are not full. <laughs> but her plate is very empty. <laughs> Probably naked. So, this is another doll that I already have. But it's very ironic. It's a Felicity. She's the like uh, mid mid version. There's like Generation Two Felicity, you could say, when they brought her back um, in the early 2000s and 2005. So I got Emerald, uh, my doll that went to the doll hospital last year, and I had waited forever to pull the trigger on another Felicity doll because my Pleasant Company lady is like really played with and um, honestly the Pleasant Company dolls are kind of homely. <laughs> so it's just really funny that I finally picked that doll who was a real fixer upper and then I got this one who is not really a And she's like a lot nicer than Emerald and we got her for free which is kind of funny. And her name is Peridot. We decided to name her Peridot. And the funny thing is I'd gone into the gas station and get soda and I was saying hey, what if we name the doll and it came to me. Peridot and Shelly was in the Jeep while I was in the gas station and we both thought of the same name. I will film a transformation video on her and the other lady. So this is Peridot, the Felicity doll, all fixed up from this haul. She doesn't have her own shoes, so she's borrowing my childhood doll's shoes. But I made her earrings and pierced her ears, and yes, she's gorgeous. And this is Emerald, my doll that you are probably familiar with if you watch my American Girl collection video. So even though they're the same, I think Emerald actually has a prettier eye set but um, Peridot is much nicer in condition. I love them, and I made uh, earrings for this outfit so they both can have a pair if they're wearing it at the same time, and I made this really tacky choker. Carissa, girl of the year 2009. And I, I recognized her, and I was like, oh my God, it's Carissa, Shelly's gonna die. She's the year I graduated from high school. <laughs> you were just a little baby then. So she does have her meat dress in here. Um, there, the, one of her shoes is on Peridot because yeah, we, we like started stripping them on last night. In the we, bag. And then um, 
Peridot's even wearing her bracelet, so this Krista has everything. Now, the funny thing is, this year at the flea market, I actually bought Krista's meat dress, and I already had Krista's underwear. Um, so I swear, when we bought those clothes, it brought us luck, because I also have Kanani now, who you have not seen, unless you follow me on Flickr. I got Kanani at the flea market, who has a transformation video that I'm saving, because we only have two transformation videos from this flea market season, because it was pretty slow until, like, August. We, we found pretty much nothing. Now I have another girl of the year and I'm so excited. I have a problem. This was the year of the girls because I have gotten... I think six. So we've got Rin and Gwen at the beginning of the year. Yes. Then Kira. Then Sage, Kanani, They don't know Krista. about Sage either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happened <laughs> on eBay. I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> I was expecting like it would be Sage in the bag because I knew it was a doll I already had and I'm like well it's got to be one of those ones that I waited forever to pull the trigger on but it was actually Felicity. So Krista! I'm very very excited. And this is Krista all cleaned up. There's a transformation video on her and Peridot coming. She looks so cute and so clean and I already had made this resin hair clip and these earrings um, when I got my first Meet Chris address at the flea market this summer but so I didn't need to make those but I did make her a little bracelet there's Chris Meet dress there's these like this is like our generation and then I don't know what this is um, but it's not American girl and then this is the saddest Julie shirt I think I've ever seen in my whole life oh my god I think dirty. Julie was the oldest doll based on yeah, based on condition. These are shameful. These are Felicity's socks. <laughs> They're filthy. Um, Julie's purse is really beat up. I already have Julie's purse, so I'm not upset with that. I also found a bunch of like, um, like used up gift cards and um, one of those fake, like those promotional credit cards they send out <laughs> that the mom must have given the daughter. These are Krista's uh, team gear, shorts, and visor, and one of the shoes. We also have Chris's other meat shoes, so that's a pair. One of Julie's shoes and one of Felicity's shoes. These are all the beautiful goodies that we got this year for Christmas or Christmas. And also, of course, the two dolls that we were given. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And there will be pictures of these items eventually on my Flickr. There are already pictures of some things, but I wanna get this video up sooner than later so this isn't like a really backlogged video so there will be a little bit of a wait on some of the photos until next time love your dolls love yourself and love your life